In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform an F test in Excel that compares two variances. Um, what you're going to need to do is make sure that you have this data analysis option here under the data tab. If you don't have it, I'm going to show you really quickly how to get it. This is using um, Excel 365, so it may look slightly different if you have a different version of Excel. Basically, you want to click on File. You're going to come down to Options. Under Options, go to Add-ins. Click on Analysis Tool Pack. Okay, once you've got that, click Go. You'll see these options. Um, go ahead and click on the first two and click OK. And that should be it. You should now have this option available here, which, which I already had. Now, if you want to follow along and do exact same analysis that I've done, you can look in the notes to this video and download the video, the data set that I'm using here, this fictional data, um, to follow along exactly how I'm doing it. Okay, so let's go ahead and to perform an F-test to compare two variances, we're going to click on Data Analysis. Now, <clears throat> we just need to look through here. We can see the various options, and we see an F-test for um, for two variances from two samples. So um, that's what you need to look at. Be aware that in this particular case, this isn't a Levine's test. This is just a simple um, test of two comparing two variances. It means it has some assumptions like normality um, of the two groups. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to give it um, the values we want um, within the two groups, okay? Let's suppose that what I want to look at is, I want to look at the uh, male versus female, the gender one versus gender two here, using this sum scale, which is the this total of these first 20 variables that are uh, fictional Likert scale data. Okay, in order to do that, I need to organize my data so that my gender ones all are together and my gender twos together, so essentially sort it by gender. So I have a bunch of rows that are gender one and a bunch of rows that are gender two. So I'm going to go out of here and I'm going to go ahead and select all my data. I'm going to sort. I'm going to sort by gender. Click OK. And then I'll just check that. You can see I've got gender one is through this row here, and then I start gender two. You might notice I've got a missing value down here, so I don't want to include that value either way. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on data analysis. I'm going to come back to my F test, click on OK. I'm going to click in this box, letting it know I'm about to select the first group. So basically I'm just going to click these values right here, the sum scale values, for group one, so I'm going to scroll down all the way to here. Okay, so that's all the group one values. And then I'm going to do the same for group two. So that would start right here. And I'll stop there because that's a missing value. I don't want to include that one. So I've got my values in. If I were using columns that had labels, I would click that. I can choose where my output goes, whether it's somewhere else on the same sheet by clicking this one and telling it which cell represents the upper left-hand corner of my results. Or I can do a new worksheet or a new workbook. I usually like to use a new worksheet. Click OK. And you'll see it on um, the results pop over here. All I need to do is re adjust my column width so that things look how I want them to do. And you can see I've got means, the variances for the two groups, number of observations, so forth, my F statistic, and a one-sided p-value right there. So that, that's it to finding a, a F test comparing two variances.